beautiful ones and welcome to my channel and to my subscribers i really love you guys a whole lot and i appreciate and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so enjoy this love gang 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 family so thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate hit the subscribe button the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up so if you are wondering this video sorry this channel is centered around sewing i make sewing tutorial videos pattern drafting and ready to wear outfits so in today's tutorial i'll be giving you a detailed illustration on how to sew drafts cuts a female jumpsuit yeah so that's actually what i'll be doing and this fabric i have with me here is a chiffon and we know how stressful and annoying chiffon can be most times but notwithstanding that it's no problem i'll just proceed with that and and it is flowered and it's actually looking dull but i kind of like the material but the anointing is stretched so to get started we have to draft a basic bodice which you can see i've already started and my neck divided into two is seven and i did a neckline with sorry a, a width neck of three inches and my shoulder is seven so i went in by two inches because this is actually going to be a high neck jumpsuit so my neck depth is actually two inches and my bust point i'm marking it there that's ten and a half my half length i'm also marking it that's the second line and the last one is the full top length sorry um, my allowance sorry so i got to the shoulder i came down by one inch and i slightly connected it to that neckline i had earlier on so just watch what i'm doing please you can ignore what i'm saying but like if you don't understand what i'm saying sorry don't ignore me if you don't understand what i'm saying just watch what i'm doing carefully there's no way you don't understand so that line i just marked now is my chest line and i'll just connect from my shoulder down to that chest line which i just marked and i'll just connect these two lines and that's just basically all and so i'll extend other lines as you can see i'm dotting all this because this fabric is actually stretched like it gave me headache so you come to your armhole you divide your armhole measurements into two and i have four so i'll mark it there and i'll come in by half an inch and the reason for this is because you don't get that extra fabric at the armpit area so for the chest line you divide your personal first into four and you mark it there and once you mark it you just connect the line from that point which you marked to the half inch which you went in by to your shoulder slope and i've marked that and that's basically almost all for this and i'll just go ahead to start imputing all my measurements and i'll be adding my sewing allowance as well so please just watch carefully what i'm doing and if you don't really know how to draft a basic body can i sort them in the comment section and i'll be glad to drop that tutorial for you like a, a detailed tutorial as usual for you so i'll just mark all that and connect all these lines together so once I'm done doing this, I'll just take in my dart. And for your dart, you need to do you need to measure from one nipple to the other, and that's actually how to get your dart. So I just did that and I'm including that when you get to your boss point while taking your dart. Okay, I'll mark that first, that line, and when you get to your boss point, you come down by half an inch, as you can see me do there, come down by half an inch, and on your waistline, you go in at both sides by half half an inch. And you just carefully connect that. I thought this material is actually annoying, but notwithstanding, I conquered. Yeah, I came out victorious. <laughs> Let's be serious here now. Yeah, so I just connected all this, and at that point, where that first line that's when you put in it, is while cutting out, you make a notch. And once you're done with this, you just cut it out and trace it out with your back part. And also remember to add your zipper allowance. So this is for the trouser part of the jumpsuit. And this is actually where the whole stuff is. So I just went down to put my hip length or my hip line. And I like I already said, our standard measurement for hip is usually 8 to 9 inches. In my previous video on how to perfectly and on how to perfectly draft a trouser actually so at the point i realized that i didn't add my one inch sewing allowance like at the top that's the waistline so i let her correct that please do add your one inch at your 
at your waistline part first, like the upper part before you start with your vertical measurements. Yeah. So, so like I was saying, for this trouser part, I already gave a detailed tutorial on how to perfectly draft a trouser or a pants. So if you haven't watched that video, just do go and watch that video right away. But I'll give a brief explanation here. So on my waistline, I just came in by 1.5 inches. And okay, that's my waistline. So the second line you're seeing is my hip line. The third one is my crotch line. And that one I'm marking right there is my full length. So on your waistline, you come in by 1.5 inches. And your full length, you come in by 2 inches. I just connect the lines. If you don't really understand, just go and watch that video and you understand. Because I gave a very detailed illustration and explanation on how to draft a stretch pants like perfectly and very easy so i'll just extend on this line so the reason for this double line marking was i didn't add my joining allowance at that waistline at first so i later realized that was that's the reason for all these double lines you're seeing here but if you actually watched my tutorial on how to draft a pants you will really understand what i'm doing here so that's basically all and I'll come to my waistline now. I'll start putting my measurements. So I divided my waistline by four and I added two inches so in allowance and I'll just mark it there. Just watch carefully. So on my hip on my hip line I did the same, divided by four plus two inches allowance and I just marked it there. So when I got to my crotch line, I also divided you know. On the crotch line divided by two that was why i actually said i should go watch that video so you know exactly what i'm doing here so you divide by two on your crotch line that's where you put in your lap or your time measurement so you are dividing your lap measurements by two and not four the only place to divide by four is your waistline and your hip line so that's basically it and i'll just impute that right there and once i'm done i'll connect these three lines together that from my crotch line to my hip line to my waistline so i've joined it and this is what it looks like this trouser already have its fine shape so now i'll be trying to shape the down part of this trouser that's the leg part and i just measure what i have on my crotch line but remember i added two inches allowance so i'm going to subtract that two inches and i mark it all the way down to my full trouser length to get the width but it depends on what if you want yours wider you can assume well this side to go by 20 inches or or 15 but i don't really want mine that wide so i'll just connect that line as you see me show you there i'll just mark it sometimes i use freehand but it's okay to also use a ruler if you are used to freehand fine me i'm used to it i'm just using this ruler for the sake of this tutorial so that's just basically it so just connect carefully oh god Just connect. So once you're done connecting, you just have to cut out everything you have here because you are done with drafting the full trouser. Yeah, you're done. Done, done, done. Cut it out. So once you cut it out, you place it on another fabric on fold as well to draft the back. So on that crotch line, you're coming about 1.5 inches. And on your waistline, you're going out by 1 inch for the back hole. And you just connect that waistline that one inch came out by to your hip length alone so on that part you see me you come out by one inch and you just connect these lines and when you get to your crotch parts you do not cut exactly the way you cut for the front no 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 you don't do that so what you'll be doing is you place your tape on that hip line and you come out by two inches and you carefully connect this um, I'm adding my zipper as well, so I'll also mark this. Remember, the zipper is definitely going to be at the back, so that's what I just added. Please don't ensure add your zipper allowance to the back part of your trouser. So that's just I connected all, the, all those lines and I cut out, like I just cut out. Do just watch that my video on how to draft a pants trouser, and you understand exactly what I do. It's very simple and easy. So this is for your dart intake. You just div you just fold your trouser leg length into two and make a notch and that'll just be your dart. And for the front darts, you can actually go in by four inches and for the back dart you can actually go in by five inches, depending on what you want. So that's basically it. And I'll just go ahead to draft up my sleeve and you can as you can see it's on fold and I'll go by marking out my sleeve length. 
plus my allowance my folding allowance and i've made that so you get to the other side you go down by five inches just flow what i'm doing you go down by five inches and we must have done that you just connect see how i'm doing that right you can do better than me just connect all the way to that part yeah so when you're done you start taking your sleeve your bicep circumference or your sleeve or your round sleeve measurements plus an inch sewing allowance just carefully watch what i'm doing here that's basically all for your sleeve like no stress no stress at all so i've cut it out and remember that the front part of our bodies we actually at the armhole part actually cut off half inch right so that's exactly what i'm going to do to the sleeve so you don't also get that extra fabric at your armpit area so if you can't really do this with a free hand you can go on by measuring half inch and just cut it out the same way i am doing here so you do that for the front part just for the front side like the part of you can actually place the sleeve on your shoulder to know the part that will be in front so you don't get confused or you don't make a mistake by cutting out for the back part okay hope you understand what i mean just place the sieve on your sh on your hand and know the part that will be in front so that's basically all and i've gonna hit iron all this out and that's as simple as that i'm just trying to bring this out and I'll use this little fabric I have here to turn up the neckline and the shoulder parts. And I'll go ahead also to put in my darts. And I've done this and as you can see we are progressing. Yeah. Just follow these steps and definitely you're going to achieve a beautiful jumpsuit. Believe me, but make sure that you have the accurate measurement of yourself or anyone you're making it for while doing this. You see my dad is straight this fabric actually gave me a whole lot of troubles but i overcame so the next thing i will do is to bring the front part of my trouser the front panel or the front part of my trouser and i will join the two together right side facing each other and i will join it on that crotch area just on the crotch area by half an inch that's what i'm trying to explain here I'm still looking for it. Yeah, this is it. I join it on the crotch area by half an inch from the waistline all the way to that pointed crotch area. Yeah. And I've also taken in my dad for the trouser as well. And once I'm done with this, you join it with your front bodies. And for the back, you bring one part of your trouser and also do the same thing. You did i instructed you to do for the front just for short time do you understand you definitely understand you can see what i'm doing right right side facing each other you just join the two like this is like you're joining one like each part separately you don't you you still not yet time to join everything together please just follow my steps just follow what i am doing and you definitely come up with something very nice and beautiful so you bring one part of your back bodies and one part of your trouser that's for the back as well the two back goes for each other and the front the same thing so you just join it at that crotch sorry 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 join it on the waistline please make sure that your dad is intercepting each other like make sure that they are correct if it's not lose it because the waist needs to correspond but when i join this you notice that i actually have um an extra fabric outside it and that fabric is actually for the zip allowance I'm trying to show you exactly what I'm doing. That's why I'm taking all this time. You see it, right? So 
so you can see what i meant right see that extra fabric that just came out i told you that it will definitely come out because it's actually the zipper allowance and that's basically it you can see please do exactly what i'm doing to achieve what you want or what i achieved so this is it i'm just showing how your zip will go it doesn't go all the way down to that crush line it stops halfway so it doesn't go in between your bum bum <laughs> So, I'm just just watch what I'm doing. There is no way you want to understand. So I'll just be pinning my shoulder because I'll be joining with half an inch. I'll just be pinning it down yet. I'll not be stitching it. Just pinning it down, and also I'll be pinning my zip area as well. And why I did this is because it's not yet time to stitch all these places. Just pinning it down here. Just taking if a zip is two inches, you can take in two inches and pin it down so uh, as you've done this you just place your fabric like this and you join you take your measurements like your bust measurements your waist measurements um your hip measurement everything measurements and you just join it at the side the two sides actually that's where you have to join your trousers as you can see me explaining there that's just exactly what make sure that they are corresponding if you're actually getting this you, you see that the two fabrics both the front and the back are corresponding okay so just join and i've gone ahead to join the two sides alone just the two sides in between my crotch and in between my lap like that there they are still open i've not stitched them yet both my so please i still haven't joined my shoulder part my shoulder together that's my front and my back shoulder i just pinned it down and i also pinned down for my zip area so you just flip this like this to take in your last measurement before you put in your zip which i actually did here and once you're done taking the measurements you also stitch your zip sorry your shoulder part with half an inch just carefully do this don't be in a hurry don't be in a haste just carefully do this to get what you want okay so you just join it and that's basically all for it So as before you join your zip, make sure you join your your two shoulder your shoulder and insert your zip. And this is just it's like that because I actually used an invisible zip for this. That invisible zip. So it's time to join at the crotch area. And you bring your two crotches together. That's the front and for the front and the back trouser. And make sure that the two lines are like they are exactly on each other okay so you just pin it down so you don't you don't just start joining from the leg without you don't just join start joining from the leg without doing this because one side is definitely going to be longer than the other and this is the outcome of this jumpsuit this is the outcome this is the fitting so if you actually followed my step to step tutorial and instruction this is what you come up with and if you've come this far watching me i really do appreciate it. please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i post relevant videos about sewing thank you you can try this out and tell me how so just try this out and you can come back and tell me what you came up with or you can share the pictures with me thank you i really do appreciate it. please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much and till some other time see you on this same channel and do not ever ever forget that Exquisite styles do love you from my heart. Bye.